good morning happy friday we've made it the weekend's in sight and um, we are out this morning for how far are we going 12 miles 12, 12 miles uh, so i've not actually run since last saturday since cross country just sort of give my little niggle time to recover and so far so good we've only done about half a mile but feels are good so far i'm raring to raring to get going um, i did a decent core workout yesterday a bit of strength work as well so a bit achy from that but nice little steady to our run should be just what the doctor ordered I think look forward to it Liz yeah. <laughs> so we've got a um we've got a race that we're doing together in a couple of weeks or is it three weeks three. three weeks three weeks tomorrow in fact so it's called the beaver challenge in beaver and um it's is it 15 or 16 miles yeah something like that it's off road yeah. uphill and down dale so Liz is doing um What's something I'm very familiar with? Panic training. <laughs> After she did the uh, cross country on Saturday, she says that the whole body was aching. So, uh, <laughs> gotta get a bit more training now. Eh? Yeah. So, there we go. It's quite warm actually, it's like 10 degrees, but it's drizzly and windy. Catch you later. I think it's gonna be a character building day today. Liz has just dropped Joe number two. It's only <laughs> We've done about, what, done eight mile? Nine mile. Nine. nine miles. Three to go. But it's been tough, it's windy, cold. But it's been a decent pace, really, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is. It's a bit windy. What do you reckon, Liz? A bit windy? I've been hard to It's like, I'm on Wales training. Run done. How was that, Liz? Really tough. I love what you've done with your hair. <laughs> Absolutely sick, <laughs> You had to have a couple of walks, didn't you, into the wind. That was, that was tough. Do you think it's prepared you for your day spectating at Tenby? Yeah, I'm really ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's, what, 11 and a half miles of the bank? Laters. Good evening, happy Friday evening. So, a bit of a last minute decision. Um, so I've only done that uh, run with Liz this morning, so I feel like I need to do a bit more on the bike. It's supposed to be rest day today, but I feel quite fresh, so uh, I'm gonna do a bit of an intense workout. Um, I'm gonna do my first Swift race for a while, so I'm not quite up to the levels of the vegan cyclist and Cam Jeffers and live streaming it and screen capturing and, and, and all that. Um, however, I'll try and get a list to get some footage of me in pain. How about that? Um, so the course is um, the Richmond short course. So it's just one lap. That one is. Um, and I'm looking back at my times for that course. The quickest I've done it is about 45 minutes. So I'd assume that we're going to go a bit quicker than being a race. So maybe 40 minutes or so in total. So I'm going to give it some welly and just, just see what happens. Um, I don't know as if I'll be towards the pointy end, but um, I'll give it a bloody good go. Um, the, about eight minutes in. I'm sat about 360, 370 watts so far. I've just lost the lead group going up the hill. Put things for climb. Can't quite hang on, but I'm gonna sit at a hard tempo, get the top as fast as I can, and then see what groups are around at the top. There's only 24 people in the race, so there's seven just gone up the road. I just can't hold them. There's a group of six of us just descending now. You can recover a bit on the descent. It's going to get flat very soon, so I assume it's going to get hard again, but I feel okay now. Good little recovery. So I've seen others do this about three days ago. I thought we'd dig in. See what people had left. <laughs> thought we'd dig in and then, not knowing the course, came up to a little sharp ramp got caught and I've been dropped because I got a digging. Oh man. Only got two and a half K to go, I'm just gonna work it hard to the finish. Should be hard. Oh, good fun that. So finished 10th I think overall. I don't know what that means, but um, it was a good workout. 40 minutes in total and um as we've said I averaged 330 watts, so just 4.2 watts per kilo. On Zwift weight, might be a lot bit less than that in real weight, winter and that. So they've come to the finish. If I've seen this online, see people doing it. If I've not got that big top end, you know, 1500 watt sprint, I've got eight or 900. So I went with 500 meters to go. It was only me and one of the bloke. I was just sat behind him, then went, and I got about two or three seconds, about 18 meters. 
there were 250, 200 meters to go. I just, I had nothing. I was working as hard as I could. I got back to like 300 watts and then he was closing at a rapid rate of knots. So I just crumbled and he come back past me and must put a few seconds to before the finish. So good fun there. What do you reckon, Rupert? Rupert. What do you reckon? Let's go to our fan club. So yeah, um, first Rupert race in a long time. Give it a go if you haven't already. Um, this was just like a, not a one of the KISS ones, it was just like a, I don't know, a random one called the Vikings or something. So you don't need to be any particular standard, just enter the sort of the group that's closest to you in terms of what power you can hold and if all, they all start at the same time, it doesn't really matter anyway. Sometimes if you've got out too much power for the group, you'll be DQ'd, but so what, it's Swift, it's not real life. Um, so yeah, if you um, like this sort of content, I'm going to try and work on getting more of a Zwift integration into these vlogs, so please you know, have a think about subscribing, I really appreciate the support. And also, if you like seeing this face in pain, press that like button. Thank you very much. See you later.